Hello friends and welcome to tonight's beer review. And I'm pretty excited because I, I actually really, really dug this beer. So the beer I'm talking about is Sierra Nevada's 2015 Beer Camp Hoppy Lager Spring Seasonal, available one time only, sadly. Now this is an update of um, their 2014 Beer Camp selection, um, the Ballast Point collaboration, uh, I believe it was Electric Ray. So let's go and read the label, shall we? This hop-heavy beer combines intense citrus and floral hop flavors with a clean, crisp, classic malt body of a hearty blonde lager for a crisp but aggressive take on the India-style pale lager. Last summer, we teamed up with San Diego's Ballast Point for a hop head twist on a crisp lager. We remix this encore, which is loaded with whole cone hops in the brew kettle and in our hop torpedo to develop to deliver a bold aroma backed by smooth malt flavor. So this is 7.0 ABV, so kind of heavy, so I guess it would fall under Imperial Pilsner. Oh, and I cannot wait to go and drink this. I've tried this in multiple glasses, please use a Pilsner glass. It really brings it out. It's a beautiful amber yellow with a thick white head. The head is redolent of hops and the primary one is of extremely skunky marijuana. I'm going to be quite, quite honest with you with that one. Underneath that is this really nice um, floral smell and sort of um, wet stone smell. They're coming. I'm not really sure if that wet stone smell comes from the Pilsner malts or from Noble hops. Smell is very intense. Carbonation is quite intense too. You can tell that this is a lager. So this is pretty intensely hoppy. But so what's really interesting is that the, hop, the bitterness of the hop finish is quite muted. It really sticks to that lager profile of a, you know, uh, clean finish. There's very little lingering bitterness on the tongue. This does not drink like 7.0 at all. It is very refreshing for something that high ABV. The malts are very crackery, with a slight sweet hint. They're very, um, you know, there's uh, the malts are quite thick there, but so are the hops. So it's really balanced out. And what's really interesting is that I find, unlike in many other um, India pale ale lager styles, or India pale lagers, or whatever you want to call it, I prefer to call them Imperial Pilsners, you know, is that you still get much of that sort of lager notes. Very Pilsner esque in this case. That crisp, clean, refreshing feeling. The biscuity malts. Um, something lying towards the drier side as opposed to the sweeter side. And 
And even though it's so intensely hopped, you still get that sort of floral and good sulfurous smell. I, I call it a good sulfurous smell because that's how I can that's how I can say it. Is some some people would say sulfur is always an off note in beer or wine. I say that there's times when it's a good one. Um, when it doesn't smell like rotten eggs, but still smells fairly sulfurous, like a volcano. <laughs> and it's always pretty muted, too. Mid-palate, you really get that wet stone taste that I love. What's really interesting is front, when you take that first sip, And get that very effervescent note that is so reminiscent of ozone to me. Now I'm saying sulfur, ozone, whetstone, you're probably thinking, oh god, what the hell is this, you know? But actually, I it's very pleasant, you have to go and try it. What's really interesting is I can taste that, yeah, this is not just noble hops in here. They use some Pacific Northwest hops, obviously, which usually overpower, um, you know, old world hops. And I'm finding that they're very well balanced and playing quite well with each other here, you know. They're getting hints of that sort of uh, Pacific Northwest resinous, you know, new world resinous. But you still have those very um, floral, kind of earthy qualities that you expect from old, old world hops. You know, it's sweeter than you would expect for a lager to be, but you still, but still, the malts are as they should be. As it warms up, the sweeter notes kind of come out more, and the biscuity crackeriness kind of comes a little bit more bready. But it never really even enters the sort of um, sweetness that you would expect from a pale India Pale Ale. Now, I'm probably a lot of the other reviews mentioned this, and you know, I probably should. People saying that they're getting a very juicy note from this. Um, a very fruity note. It's kind of muted to me. Um, it's not really something I would... Juicy, fruity notes are not something that I would want in um, a good pale lager. So, you know, um, yeah, they're kind of there, but they're underneath all that other stuff. And that's kind of good in my book. They're just they're they're just there with that hint of sweetness, and we're kind of gone. And the rest of it is really um, a lager show. Like, what would a lager be with much more intense hopping? Well, what would a pale lager be with much more intense hopping, and um, you know, a malt to balance that out? And here we are. We have very excellent representation. I don't remember being quite blown away by Electric Ray, excuse me, when I tried it. Um, that said, you know, I only had one bottle of each for the original beer camp. So I have to say, you know, um, you know, give this a shot. It's really damn good. I'm glad I got it. I got the last six pack at the supermarket. Um, so it's really flying off the shelves, so if you want to get a chance to try it, try it now. Oh, god, dad. Damn, I'm just seeing the date on this. This was, this is hella fresh. Look at this. 12-23-14. Damn, this beer's not even a month old yet. That's how you want something heavily hopped. That's how you want it. You want it young as possible. 
And I have to say, it's showing. It's showing that wonderful hop goodness. So, I digressed. Go and get yourself this, go and get yourself this hoppy lager, man. Um, especially if you are a fan of both lagers and of, you know, India Pale Ale style, here's a really good mashup that doesn't fall flat on his face by being too much of a um, India Pale Ale. It's still clean, it's still refreshing. Um, and that's your beer review for tonight, folks. Cheers.